Hey, Steve Minotti here. Before we get to our junkyard crawl video for today, just a heads up, on October 1st, if you're in the Durant, Oklahoma area, I'll be there live at Spanky Acider's inaugural Freedom Choctaw Collector Car Auction at the Choctaw Casino and Resort Event Center, again, in Durant, Oklahoma, where a whole bunch of cool collector cars are gonna get sold, many of them at no reserve, and I'll be on the stage live doing commentary. One of the best cars and most special cars in that event is gonna be the actual 58 Chevrolet Impala, fully restored, that was once owned by Peggy Sue Geron. Yes, that Peggy Sue, the star of several Buddy Hall songs. Pretty, pretty, pretty Peggy Sue. That was her 58 Impala. That car is going to get sold at no reserve again on October 1st at the inaugural Freedom Choctaw Collector Car Auction in Durant, Oklahoma, October 1st. Be there if you want to take a shot at that car and just check out a great auction. Okay, let's get right into the junkyard crawl here at Burniston Auto Wrecking. Steve Yanni here doing the junkyard crawl at Burniston Auto Wrecking, and grass whips suck. Got to say, when I was a kid growing up, the four words I hated to hear my dad say were, Steve, mow the lawn! So, while we're here today, let's take a look at lawnmowers. And you got to remember that the first lawnmower was invented in England in 1830. It was a push mower with a rotating blade, and believe it or not, England, 1830. Of course, by 1914, the first gas-powered push mowers arrived in America. But the thing is, when you're pushing a mower up a hill, it's no fun. So I like to say that the junkyard is more than a junkyard. It's actually a classroom. So here we have some interesting takes and evolutions on the push mower theme. This is a traditional deck type lawnmower, but look at this belt drive arrangement right here. This has driven front wheels, which if dad yells, Steve, mow the lawn, it won't be quite as difficult. Now on this one here, we can see there's a tensioner and a gate type, almost like a fan belt right here that drives a pulley system. And when you pull back on these handles right here, what this does is apparently, yes, it creates a pull tension right there, we can see this, I pull a cable, and that tightens the belt and it engages the underneath. So this is the underneath of this thing. And there it is, right there. This is the little cog belt, a nylon idler. And here are the driven front wheels. A pretty basic system. There's gotta be a little gear train inside of here to take this motion and turn it into that because these are on different axes. But here's that classic tried and true blade underneath. But here's the thing, belt drive isn't the final word. No doubt somebody took out a patent on this design here, another traditional push type mower, but again with driven wheels. But this time around, no belts. This actually has a cog wheel that engages serrations in the tire. So right here we can see when we pull down on the handle, this one's got carthritis, but with that said, these wheels are driven by these little cogs right here. And this is the front drive 22 incher, but there it is right there. So when you're not engaged, you can push it, but if you want assist up the hill, a little nitrous shot, you get these to work. So I gotta wonder if this worked well on wet surfaces when these things go wet. Would these things slip or not? I don't know. Underneath, of course, quite a bit more simple, certainly less expensive to make than the belt drive type. But again, yet another take on the idea. Now, if you were really lazy like me, you were lucky enough to get a riding mower. And the first riding mower in the United States, gas powered, came in 1922. Well, here we have right here a Simplicity 637. Now, this was the Cadillac of lawn mowing, of course. This has a double uh, cutter deck on it. You sit on this thing right here and just put on your Walkman, remember those things? And then you just basically set the height you want, use this puppy right here, and you're on your way. And this would have had probably a shaft drive, perhaps a chain inside. Um, and then finally, the ultimate in wheel drive is chains. Now, speaking of chains, this is a snow blower. I had to use a shovel when I was a kid. We didn't have a snow blower, but this is a snow blower. But here we can see this is chain driven. This big sprocket right here is driven by the engine, which also has a, a jack shaft here, which runs the uh, snow thrower inside of the structure here. And speaking of chains, even though these are fairly heavy, they're made heavy, so they sort of have good traction. This one does have a uh, augmentary uh, chains right here on the wheels to help it get a bite on, uh, on ice. So yeah, if your dad says, Steve, mow the lawn, hopefully you've got a driven lawnmower like one of these things, or, well, you have to get back to it with the tried and true grass whip, which goes back to Roman times. So I guess I'll get back to this junk, but we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of the Junkyard Crawl with Steve Mignani.